what I was actually doing was, you know, killing us. It's easy to just shove stuff in your mouth and keep eating. The only thing that's ever going to make me change is myself. Overweight and overwhelmed. I couldn't run, couldn't really like do anything. I was, couldn't breathe. Five people all carrying the same burden. It's kind of got to the point where it just wasn't, I had to change and I wasn't going to keep doing this. As a teenager, Josh Winterton was big and bullied. I was about 14 years old and I would have been upwards to around 100 kilos. I was about five foot six, so it was literally like a bowling ball kind of walking around, struggling. Controlling his cravings for comfort food was a daily battle. I just love food, like macas, you know, cookies, cakes, just everything. Anything I could get my hands on, I would just be nailing it left, right and centre. By the age of 17, Josh had to make the decision to change or die. I'm not going to get bullied, I'm not going to get ripped on, my brother's not going to give me crap, whatever it was. You can be told by that many people, you've got to, you know, you've got to, go, you've got to go out and run. Just kind of run. So he popped on his sneakers and trained for over six hours a day. As you start getting results, mentally you start feeling better, then it starts getting easier. He ditched the junk and takeaways, replacing them with salads and lean meats. Like I meet people now and I go, oh yeah, I used to be you know, 40 kilos overweight. And they're just like, no you didn't. Yeah, I did. No you didn't. Yeah, I did. Now 21 and knowing how badly he needed motivation to make changes, he's created a way to give other people the push they too may need. Well, obviously being so overweight, like my need for validation was like through the roof. It's called Tink, an app that gives you the thumbs up or down in a decision you just can't make on your own. It's all about crowdsourcing opinions from friends, family, um, the global Tink community to kind of get opinions. Whether it's a wardrobe pick or a new purchase, you can ask your friends, family or strangers what they think. Cayman Islands, it's in Kenya, it's in, I think it's in Hawaii, America, Canada, China, Japan, Russia, Brazil. And I think it's, it's that confidence to know they made the right decision. For this entrepreneur, getting fit was the best decision he ever made and wants others to have a good hard think about their choices too. There's no reason why you can't do it. It's been, it's possible. We ate so much and we just got bigger and bigger and bigger. For Anna and Rodney Van Dyken, it was their son's struggle in sport class that kick-started a change. I was thinking that I can't do this. I'm not fit, not like everyone else. When all the other kids had, they had to walk, uh, run the whole way around the perimeter of the school and all the kids had finished and there was no Ethan in sight. When I finished, I went straight up to her and started crying and said, Mum, don't ever make me do this again. At just nine years old, Ethan weighed in at 80 kilos. All I could say is that it was basically torture for me. Coming from an Italian family, you kind of feed your family with food. That's how you express your love for people. A love that weighed heavily on the whole family's mind. I couldn't clean my house at all. It, it would take me a whole week just to clean the house. And that's when I had that, right, I've got to do something because it's my responsibility to do it. So we did. So Anna, Rodney and Ethan all joined Weight Watchers together. As the weight started coming off, he started getting the confidence that he needed to be the 10 year old that he could have been. Dropping 90 kilos, getting lean as a team. Ethan's lost uh, 16 kilos, Rodney's lost around 30, and I've lost 42.8. Well, I've learned that I can do anything that I want to do. I just set my mind to it and I can do it. Ethan may have lost the weight, but he gained something very special. It's um, sports captain for Green Faction. It's, a, it's good, it's really nice to have that job, knowing that I can do this and he's now a trendy 10 year old. Yes, I wanted to wear skinny jeans. I was, I really wanted to get to wear that because everyone wore that and I was there with shorts on. Dad Rodney is the healthiest he's ever been. A lot better now. I was had diabetes before. I was like now that it's under control and just moving around way, way easier. And Mum's walked away with the prize, winning the 2013 Weight Watchers Inspiration Award. You can't put a price on your, your health, you can't put a price on your family. Don't wait, um, get healthy, do it now. I got into a rut of avoiding family back 
over east and things like that because I didn't want people to comment on my weight. At 38, PhD student Georgina Holbeach had tried nearly every diet created. Lots of things myself, normally things that were unrealistic or too strict and I was starving within 24 hours or something like that. Weighing 115 kilos and just five foot, emotionally eating her way through the day. If I can't do something as simple as not stuff food in my mouth, how can I achieve other things in my life? Georgie's kickstart came from Today Tonight's story on Rasheen Graham last year. I'm just happier. I don't know whether that's confidence. After losing over 40 kilos on the Cambridge diet, Georgina said it was her last ditch effort in dieting. It's at that point that I thought it might be something that suited me because it was quite clear cut and quite black and white. Georgie's daily diet includes meal replacement shakes and soups. By the time I'd done my first weigh and I'd lost five kilos. Today, she's 65 kilos lighter, dropping two kilos every week for over nine months. You're constantly losing weight and changing clothes sizes and things like that, so it does keep you motivated. Georgie says today tonight saved her life. It did, it did indeed. And, and having seen that article and Rasheen appearing on all the brochures for Cambridge, she certainly sat on my, my bench during the diet as a motivator. And now it's Georgina on the brochures. She's just been named runner-up in their International Weight Loss Award. At the end of the day, the reward is the weight loss, but it's nice to have another little recognition as well. I've got my health back, my cholesterol's back to, to normal, my, do my doctor's really happy with the result. They've been weighed down their whole life, and to get Together, they've lost a combined 200 kilos. You can do anything when you put your mind to it. Um, absolutely. Just believe in yourself and the rest will follow.